What's going on, Gotti fam? It's your man, Cope Gotti, and I'm back out here on this MLB The Show 18 Road to the Show star, the homie, the legend, the best up-and-coming center fielder in the game, Kenny Starks. Now, if you've been following the series, you know that we was recently traded twice. We started off on the Milwaukee Brewers, which is the team we were drafted to. Then we was traded to the Detroit Tigers. And then right after that, we was traded to the San Diego Padres, which is the team that we are on now. And because of our hard work and dedication that we have been putting in thus far, we have finally achieved our goal of making it to the big stage, the major leagues. And in this video, I wanna show you guys exactly what we did to show the manager that we deserve to be on the big stage. And I'm gonna show you guys how better of a player that my man Kenny Starks is. This man has been working his tail off and he has became one of the best center fielders coming up in the game, which I knew he could do, but you have to work hard to get on that stage. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how he did that. Now, as you can see the stats right here in this game, the last 10 games, 21 for 47, with an average of 447. This man, Kenny, has been putting in work. Now, in this gameplay right here, was going up against the Springfield Cardinals. And this pitcher, if you haven't noticed, he's doing the purpose pitch, which I learned from my man Cordaris down in the comments. One of my favorite subscribers, he definitely be putting in work in the comments section. He let me know this is called a purpose pitch. And I can't stand it, but I'm getting better at it. As you can see right here, as I catch it coming up high, and I knock it straight out the park. Putting in that work, my man Kenny is getting better. I hate when dudes be pitching like that. Now, what I've been coming across lately is he'll do, the, like, guys will do the purpose pitch, and then they'll throw, like, straight up, like, that normal thing, which I hadn't seen before. But they started doing that because, I guess, because I was playing so good and I was hitting everything. But they started doing that. It kind of threw me off a little bit, but I'm definitely getting better at hitting the purpose pitch. Now, this game right here is the same exact game. Look at the stats, two for three, a home run, a triple, and five RBIs. We're not even going to a different game. This is the same exact game. We're still going up against the Cardinals. You see we have a 9-1 run lead, and the pitcher throws his first pitch. Fastball inside. You know I'm not swinging at that. You see the plus plate discipline. I'm definitely getting better on my plate discipline. I've been working mad hard, trying not to hit pitches that are not in the zone, but here comes one right down the middle. And I smack it right out the park again. Two home runs in the same game. My man Kenny is a beast. And seeing how good Kenny is getting and the things he's able to do with getting hits and hitting home runs, I'm so glad I went with the ball hawk player type because when I was picking my player type, the only flaw I saw in ball hawk was that the hitting wasn't going to be as good and it wasn't going to be up to par to the defense and the speed. But seeing how good he is and seeing the hits that he's getting, to see that the power that he's getting, and also he's playing defense and has speed, he is becoming the player that I envision him to be when I pick my player type, and I am loving it. Now, as you can see, we was putting in that much work. We finally got called up to AAA. We played with the Chihuahuas, the El Paso Chihuahuas. And I know what y'all thinking. That's a funny name. I was thinking the same exact thing. You see the stats. Batting 378, 24 home runs, 75 RBIs, and 25 stolen bases at this point. Now we're going up against the Albany Isotopes. You see it's the bottom of the first. I got two men on, and I jump on that pitch early. I seen that pitch. It was good. The sinker, dog. That is one of the pitches that I hate the most. But we hit it, but we was a little bit early. He throws the same exact pitch right down the middle, and bang. We hit it. Deep down the middle of the field, and you already know it's going over the wall because that man, Kenny, he got the power now. You see we got the plus power, the plus contact, and the plus batting clutch as we desperately need because we're trying to be the best clutch player in the league. And as you've seen in this game, we get in the double batting clutch. So it's two times. So every time we hit a clutch pitch, we get double the points, which is what we need, which is what we want to become the player that we're trying to be. Now we're moving on to later in the game, bottom of the fourth, 0-1 count, got a man on second, and bang! Right down the left side of the field, we doing it again. My man Kenny is still putting in that work. I know I keep saying he putting in work, but that's exactly what he doing. He's doing it, now we're up four runs. We getting more batting clutch, we getting more contact, and we getting more Power. Look at that 345 foot home run that man Kenny is a beast 
We were losing at the beginning of this game, and then we ended up winning. Moving on to the next game. You see, we already up three runs in this one. Bottom of the third. He puts a fastball right down the middle. Is you crazy, dog? Now, if you was a baseball fan, you know how legendary what I'm about to do is. And also, you know how tough it is. As you see right there, we get the hit. We're going for the triple. I was going for the in the park home run, but then I changed my mind at the last minute, and I get chopped up. But it's all good. We still got the triple. That's the bottom of the fourth. My next at bat, I got a man on first and bang. Right down the left side of the field, right over the third baseman's head. And this time we go. I thought about going for the triple, but I said, nah, I'm going to stick right here on second base. But my man, he gets chopped down. So now it gets dropped down to a single. So now that's a triple. And I got the single. So now, the bottom of the six, man on first, then bang, another hit. And this time it's going out the park. That's another home run for my man Kenny. So now that's a triple. That's a home run. And now we got the single. And if you're a baseball fan, like I said, you know it's about to go down. All I need is a double to complete the cycle. And there goes another hit down the left side of the field right under the third baseman's glove. And my man cannot get caught this time. I need that other RBI. Let's get it. Now we get the double and we get the cycle. That is a legendary moment for my man Kenny's career right there, completing the cycle. And it was such a legendary moment that it led to this. Sometimes dreams do come true. You heard the man. Sometimes dreams do come true. Congratulations, Starks. They want you on the stage. You getting called up immediately. That's what I'm talking about. We finally going to the show. We finally getting called up to the major leagues, man. This is a dream come true. This is what my man Kenny been working so hard for. And it felt so good to get this call, to get called into the manager's office and getting told that you're going to the show. I'm telling y'all, man, it was the best feeling. We was grinding so hard and it finally paid off. You see right here, we're going into the manager of the Padres' office right now. He was definitely impressed with our minor league career. We was in the minors for three years. Two years in the double A. We got called up in triple A. We was almost done with the season. Our whole season in triple A and we finally getting called up to the majors. That is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You see we're getting the trophies called. I'm not going to cry because we're getting called up to MLB. I'm telling y'all, man, it was hard work put in. Now you can see the Padres, their record is 47 and 61. Now I can see why they called us up and check us out in the major leagues, man. Let's get it. Let's go, man. I went with the protective helmet style so I can go at the chin guard. I like that chin guard, man. But let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Should I rock this helmet? Or should I go with the traditional style, which is the one I like as well? Now, if you guys are ready for the Major League gameplays, I need you guys to smack that like button for your boy. And if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the Gotti fam today. You do not want to miss out on this fire series. I love making these videos for you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. But until next video, I'm your man, Coach Gotti, and I'm out.